I think of you as one of those actors who's both a kind of an actor's actor and a people's actor in a way. You've managed to cross that boundary uh, between the sort of the David Tennant's and the Daniel Day Lewis's. Uh, do you ever get a sense of that in a way, like the warmness you, you get from kind of people in general, but also the acting community, that reverence? Almost. Oh, not to embarrass you. I, I, don't, I don't know about that, but I, I mean, I, I live back at, at home where I grew up now, you know, and um, so I have, I have a sort of slightly distorted view of things because, you know, I'm, I'm basically around family and, mm. and, and where I came from all the time. So everyone's, you know, always very friendly and, and um, I, it's, it's rare that people throw things at me in the street. But I don't know, if I ventured outside of my little corner of South Wales, maybe they would. There's always a place somewhere where people will throw Someone things will at throw you something in the street. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have had the great pleasure recently binging out on Rob Brydon's podcast over the oh, last right. couple of weeks. Uh, and last night I listened to the, his chat with you from a couple yeah. of years back. And you guys were talking about that kind of a point in career where you feel almost a greater sense of relaxation and satisfaction of knowing who you are and the things you enjoy doing, not thinking, oh, I should be just doing really serious things, but I'm going to do what right, yeah, I get a yeah, kick out of. Yeah. And, and in your career, these last couple of years, barring COVID and all that, they look to me from the outside as possibly the most satisfying couple of years an actor could have. You've looked like you've had so much fun with, with Staged mm. and with this and all this kind of new duo that people love with you and David. Mm. Uh, is that accurate? Are you kind of more getting more satisfaction now than you have done in previous years? I or guess what? so. I mean, I think, yeah, there is a, a big difference, I think, as an actor from when you feel like you're sort of trying to make a name for yourself and establish yourself and, and, um, uh, and then later on once, you know, if you're lucky enough, you feel like, well... The pressures are different now, you know, um, and you can sort of just, if you're fortunate enough to be able to have choice, you know, and um, yeah, the last few years I've, I've really enjoyed. I think um, there were, yeah, I think there was a period of time, I remember Ian McCallan started doing things like, you know, he was doing Panto and he was doing Coronation Street. And I remember thinking, see, he's just, he's just doing what he wants to do. It's great. And I found that quite a big inspiration. And um, so I love, I love being able to do things. That I just enjoy doing, and um, uh, you know, I've always, I've, I mean, I've never done jobs because, I, uh, you know, I felt anything other than I just really liked the material, and, and I would want to watch it myself, pretty much, and that's why I think I've had quite a, a variety of, of, you know, almost different careers in a way. You know, um, I've done a lot of kind of fantasy and sci-fi, and, and and people can sometimes look down on that kind of more genre thing and think, oh, it's not as serious as the. Mm the Frost Nixons or the Queen or, you know, all that kind of stuff. But there's no difference for me. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed everything and I feel very lucky that I've got to do so many different kinds of things. But definitely over the, I would say, maybe the last 10 years, yeah, I've, I've wanted to do things that are, that are much more personal to me, I suppose, yeah. in some ways. Um, and and there's, there's something wonderful about that, yeah. I think the, the numbers don't lie. And I think when, when you're, you're making so many, you're giving enjoyment to so many people through anything from like the Damned United through to things like Good Omens and the mm. States and stuff like that, uh, I think that's the only thing that kind of matters at the end of the day in any kind of art form in a way. It's like for the people. Um, yeah. Speaking about Good Omens, of course, that's what we're here to speak about. Mm. And I'm a huge fan of Staged as well. And I remember... A few years back now, when it was first announced for Good Omens that they were putting you guys together, yourself and David Tennant, two kind of really beloved actors uh, of, of, of these aisles, I, there was so much excitement and, and, and so much kind of goodwill about that happening. Fast forward four years, you guys have just in each other's pockets so yeah. often. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's that ride been like and how much has your relationship kind of shifted and changed and evolved over those few years well yeah i mean we'd 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 been in something together but we hadn't acted together in it years and years ago and we'd sort of known each other socially a little bit but um yeah it was only when we first started doing this first series that uh the first series of good omens that we got to properly know each other and of course you know, I had no idea how it would work with these two characters i mean on the whole we'd I think coming through, in a, you know, talking about starting your careers off and trying to establish yourself, we'd probably been up for the same parts a lot of the time. So we wouldn't be in something together because we'd be up for the, the same character. Um, and so then being put together, it wasn't until that first day of the read through on the first series of this that, that we got any sense of how it, would, how it might work together. And it just sort of clicked. Just the dynamic between us playing these particular characters sort of just worked. And, and then filming that first series, we were obviously together a lot of the time. Um, and it was just easy, you know, it was, it was, there was no ego involved and there was, no, there was nothing extraneous. It was just the work and just having a nice time together. 
Uh, and then when we were in front of the camera together, it just you know seemed to take off and and worked really well. And then then we had uh, we had our uh, our daughters at the same time just after Good Omens, and so our family started to become friendly. I mean, our daughters now send each other video messages oh, to wow. each other, and you know we. Um, You're tied together then. Yeah, Georgia now. has just been in the thing I've directed, and um, so yeah, we're so entwined now, and um, and it seemed to move on to stage as well. Mm -hmm. That you know, it wasn't just these characters. It, you know, the dynamics still seem to work quite well in another format. So, um, so yeah, I hope it continues. You know, it's a bit like being in a band now. Almost, I guess when so, you've, yeah. you've been in a successful <laughs> band and you go off and do your own things, <laughs> your but solo people are still like, So, are you guys going to get together, do another album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, who knows how long this will go on for? Um, and I think you know, stage has probably come to an end now. Mm. But you know, sort of never say never. But. Um, I mean, I think we'll always be looking for something to do together because we've just enjoyed it so much. And I have to ask quickly for, for myself, uh, I'm such a huge fan of uh, The Deal and Fantabulosa and of course Damn United and Who Wants to Build a Millionaire stuff. Like you, you've, you really have kind of embodied so many great people in some great work over the years. I kind of wish Tony Blair would return to frontline politics just so we can get <laughs> something else with you in in the future. Is there anyone? Is there anyone on your mind who you'd like to have a one more person you could have a crack at? You think? Oh, gosh, I, I mean, it's never really been about the person. It's it's you know, it's always the script that comes along, really. So I've never. It's not like I had a, a list of people who I want to play <laughs> yeah. those people. But when the right person with the right script comes along, and um, then it, then it's really exciting. I'm going to be playing playing a Nairin Bevan. Uh, next year uh, on stage, so I'm looking forward to that. That's really exciting. But yeah, just interested to see what, if and when, any of those sort of characters come along again. Well, fingers crossed that does another Frost Nixon and jumps onto screen yeah. down the line. That'd be nice to see. Uh, so it's been a pleasure to meet you. Uh, you. Fantastic series. I absolutely love it. I hope we get many, many, many more uh, with with you guys and yourself. And I'll Thank certainly you. be there to watch. Thanks. Brilliant. Man. Thank you, Johnny.